Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. And let's continue playing Hearts of Iron 4 as the Union of the Great Britain. Of a great equ egalitarian Britain. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Anyways, let's continue on. Uh, last time we were trying to push a little bit into German held territories, but we did have a few comments. Now let's go a little slow. Obviously, I just started this game back up. Because I can still invite Ching China, and that's going to be a big ol' N-O from me. Because Ching China does not look good right now. Ooh, baby, it does not. China, though. Regular China looks pretty darn good. If I could get them into my alliance, I wouldn't want them. Because I want Communist China, potentially. Exploit the weak neighbors, ooh. They are fighting the Japanese as well. But, uh, comments. First of all, that I remember... Uh, wait. Tanks. Yes, I want you to go for the Magdeburg area... Maybe try to smash across the river. It's not good for your, uh, uh, attrition levels are bad. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, attrition levels are bad, regardless. Actually, you know what? Come up there. But anyways, comments. Yesterday, Kriegsmarine. Someone wants me to play as Germany and focus on the Navy early on. Well, or at least focus on the Navy. Maybe not early on. It's not too hard to play as Germans with their Navy after you conquered all of Europe. But then again, that's after you conquered all of Europe. The Kriegsmarine for the Germans is very mm, not easy, I would say, just because you're really focused on land warfare as well as air warfare, really. The Navy is really relegated to things that can be built quickly and cheaply, mostly subs. That being said, of course, I could do that, but I would probably end up building lots of light cruisers, destroyers, and battleships, and an occasional carrier. I'd probably sacrifice all the subs for the most part and build a lot of battleships and whatnot. Alright, so I really want to get rid of this area so we can use this river as a defensive point to hold. But we keep getting attacked. And if you want to keep attacking, well then I will have to attack this way to kind of distract some of these guys here. Take half of you. I need you to immediately attack this way as well. Anyways, another comment. Ooh, that did her or fuel supplies. Not good. Looks like it's not good up here either. Hmm. I don't know why you're attacking, but I'm not going to question it. Another comment is how to play a secular Me Mexico. There's a state education focus that you could take. So if you wanted to play as secular Mexico, which I might next next campaign, I don't know. We have a lot of time until the next DLC comes out, so we got we got plenty of time. Um, there's obviously a focus for that state ed education, apparently, as someone did point out. Awesome, we have full control of Magdeburg, so we get better supply right now. Uh, this is actually not too bad. How I'm a little concerned about this area with Essen and whatnot. I know we try to take this guy, these areas out. Maastricht is really not looking good right now. That's really not good. I, I want to keep Maastricht. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's how I'm going. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, attacking here does not seem like a good idea. It's just too many divisions for us to do anything. And yes, tanks. And regarding, someone said what the government of the UK was, I'm just going to leave it as, I'm a simple American. Apparently, it's it's a government. That's what I'm going to say. It's a government. Oh, cool, we got more political power, which means, because of our resources, they're still very low. We, unfortunately, we will have to go from export focus down to closed economy. Hmm. Closed economy might be more beneficial. We will lose docket, we'll lose output, construction speed, and research time. But, honestly, our output right now is pretty darn good. We could use some close air support, some tactical bombers. But, we will get all of the resources that, we're, that we need. Uh, honestly, I think going with limited exports would be fine enough for our steel. For aluminum, we would still have quite a deficit of aluminum as well as rubber. Well, let's go ahead and just go to limited exports. So we still get a slight benefit to whatever we have. And that changes that to a ton of steel, a small deficit of rubber, and a medium largish deficit of aluminum. So that will definitely help our production. Because you can have as much output as you want. Can we actually attack over the river? That'd be awesome. You can have as much of a deficit as you want, but if you don't have... Well, if you don't honestly have all the resources you can make, the factory output of like plus 5 more percent really isn't worth it in my opinion. Uh, can we actually win here? That'd be interesting. Better radar, great. 1942. Ooh, integrated fire control radar. Huh. 1942. Oh, wait, we can research better guns. 
Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Radar is... I love radar. It's extremely useful, but... Uh, we just gotta wait. Gotta wait. Maybe add another infantry in here. That might be okay. Maybe not. Yeah, you definitely don't need to do that. Over here, we're probably honestly not gonna win. Yeah, just go ahead and kind of hold for now. Just go ahead and hold. And we no longer get the support of trade union workers, which is fine with me. I think we're pretty much done trying to build up a ton of stuff. We still obviously are building up refineries, but that's okay. Tanks, you are literally leading the charge. Field Marshal's doing an okay job, but not too bad. As long as we don't lose too many battles, that's good. We are pretty much trying to grind out a bunch of German manpower and equipment. Holy crap. Even though they are... The last time we did leave, they were mobilizing more men with all adults served conscription level. Well, that's not a lot of manpower. I mean, compared to the Soviets. I mean, the Soviets obviously have a crap ton of manpower. And they're going to annex a place called Tanutuba, where I don't know where that is. Definitely not over here. Ah, very good. Also, I do have cough here. But, you know, that's just a small little minor... Uh, thing to say. Oh, we definitely will have to have more manpower next. We we'll definitely will go with service by a requirement. Awesome. Tanks are doing a great job. Great, great job. Everyone else is holding out pretty well. Six divisions. I want to say we can do well here. Take all but one. Push them in. I, I think these guys can do well. I might be wrong. Actually, I might be very wrong. And the Soviet Union annexed Tanu what? Exactly. Exactly. Give, them, these, give the infantry a little bit more of a push. They might actually be able to do well. Nice. I got one division to leave. Good. Capitalize on that. Awesome. Our tanks actually were able to push. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of infantry over here. Help defend. Maybe draw some of the division's attentions away. Or at least the German attention. The Italians are over here too. Yeah, I'm really pushing for Berlin. I really, really think that would be a great goal. That would might make Hitler kill himself. Okay, I just... This video can never be monetized. Okay, anyways. I'm not even monetized, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, but time for coffee, right? <clears throat> or disappear. A better way of saying it is disappear himself. Yeah, there you go. To... <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to say neck yourself, but I guess I just did. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, no. Um, Nice. The tanks, I just love tanks. These tanks are just so good. I want to push harder harder into the east. Yeah, that's the direction. Oh, nice! We got this... Did we get something here? Did we... Oh, we did take this province. Great, 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 great. If we can take Essen, that'd be awesome, too. Casualties so far. 316,000. That's quite a bit. We've lost 18 guys because of Italy. All right. Indonesia's lost quite a few. Um, Nigeria, as well as Gambia, could join us, but they'll probably get destroyed if they do. But we've killed quite a few... Um, Germans, we've literally killed 1.4 million Germans because of ourselves. That is, you should be pretty proud of that, people. Pretty darn proud. Ah, uh, yes, just keep killing yourselves on my line. Uh, your people will love you for that. Very awesome. Very cool. As we are, potentially, maybe having a maxed out fuel amount. I mean, it'll only take less than a year for us to get max fuel. Which would be awesome. Better excavation, thank the lord. Time for some... I only have 1940 artillery. No wonder our guys aren't attacking as hard as I can. This is all my fault for this. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, General. Another army that will probably be added to our field marshal here. Uh, cool. Oh, oh. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a jolly good second. Oh god, am I returning British? I hope not. Uh, uh, you know what? You come here. Think, go this direction. I don't know where the what the AI is doing. They must be reshuffling their front line because the AI, like us, I believe, actually does reshuffle their front line. Um, take half. Actually, take half. Go here. Take half. Come down here. If, if Germans leave the, the area undefended, you know, all I can do is just you know have a good time with them. Take half of you guys. Come down here. Uh, that is seven divisions. Ch -ch -ch -ch. That is a lot of divisions. Take yeah, go go here if you can. Um, all right then. Sounds good to me. Sounds really good to me, and sounds very delightful to me. Very good. All right, Germany. Well, maybe you're reshuffling your divisions. The Soviets have broken down almost to Bulgaria. That's awesome. And this army we have over here, I will not need for Leningrad. At least not yet. Very cool. Up. Oh, it looks like they put some divisions back here. That's not cool, guys. You lied to me. 
Oh, we did take that province. That's good. I think, uh, 14 divisions is quite a bit. Seven divisions down here. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and come down here. Come down here. Uh, take the tank with you. Very cool. Very awesome. Ah, uh, time for some coffee. Alright, let's set up our tanks again. Tanks. Not tankies. Oh god, no. Tanks. Tanks, tanks, tanks. We're pushing for Berlin. I want you... Actually, you know what? Come over here. Dresden, Leipzig, and Berlin. Those are the next three we really want. Ooh. Oh, a tank division. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, yes, please. Casualties, not bad, not bad. Keep an eye on the manpower. Not bad. Uh, at this rate, we have a pretty good army. Obviously, it's not as big as I would want it to. And yeah, we're, I'm going to get rid of some divisions that are being made. Uh, let's crank it down to 12. 16. There we go, 12. We got over 100,000 more manpower to use, which will be very, very necessary for our future offensives. And which we will attack here very soon. Let's go ahead and take this territory. Awesome. Any losses? Well, we shot down an enemy plane, transferring our tank over here, probably. Ah, Britannia rules the way. It's three bonuses to naval doctrine. I love it. Carrier focus, not bad. Actually, I'll probably do carrier focus. Battleship models, not bad either. Rep oh, yes. Re expand the repair yards. Yes, baby. Two more dockyards. Refitting speed plus 10%. Refitting cost minus 10%. Ship repair speed plus 10%. Ooh. Actually, you know what? What is this? Vanguard. Create a variant of Vanguard, Vanguard, Lenark. Huh. Well, actually, I need to have battle 1944 heavy ship hull and requires battleship focus. Actually, two research bonuses. Honestly, I'll do this one about then because you can get down to Vanguard and that sounds kind of cool and you get some little more naval experience. So, let's go ahead and choose amphibious warfare, marine technology. Yeah, let's do battleship focus. Hmm. Do you see that? The crown jewel. Or one of the best or most prized cities to obtain in this war is literally a frontline city. That is so good. Hitler, I hope you're pooping your pants right now. Oh my goodness. And they don't they still don't have that much manpower as they are still mobilizing. I love it. Oh, George Gifford is wounded. That is not good. We've had very little naval battles around here, but probably because we took all their ports. Which is always good if you don't want to deal with a lot of enemy naval stuff. Now, if we wanted to attack, really, I'm going to have to redo this line a little bit. Hmm. Good push over here. I'm going to make the river kind of a defensive area. Hmm. I want them over here. I want to take this province first. So we're across the river, so we don't have to attack over river to Berlin. That would not be very conductive to our military operations while they are attacking us over here in western Germany quite a bit. So very Western Germany, which is fine with me. It looks like the Germans are actually running out of equipment and or manpower, but it's probably equipment levels. Ah, uh, Germany, Germany, Germany. Uh, very good. Very, very good. And we have 45 Coast Guard divisions. That's great to see. We need 43, so we are doing pretty well, even though I will need some more divisions to help guard some coasts. That's pretty good. Uh, very often as well. That's good. Very cool. Ah, uh, they really don't want me to be here. Go ahead and push these guys in. Seven divisions, led by Croatian uh, divisions. Probably not going to do that well for you. Anything over here? A couple of plane loss. A couple things. Oh, an enemy plane loss. Another. Oh, the light cruiser sunk. Very cool. And then another infantry division. Great. Truly great. I can't believe we're actually using uh, 1940s artillery, which isn't bad. The Cavalry Brigade from Egypt, which is no longer under us. Uh, go ahead, actually. Uh, I want to encircle Berlin. I think that would be really freaking awesome. I don't know if we can, though. Because the AI actually has improved. And they might actually try to leave Berlin before we can actually encircle it. But, since it is the capital... Uh, would they leave it mostly undefended? Hmm, that is a good point to make. Let us try it anyways. 
Okay, so the enemy has decided to leave, which is going to stretch out my lines. Ugandan People's Republic has capitulated. Why am I not surprised? Just saying. Alright, uh, since they're not here, that's a lot of divisions, but they're not very strong. Oh, it's paused. My bad. Cool, let the tanks come over. Let the tanks have a good old time. Actually, does anyone need upgrades? Henry Powenwall. Oh, yes, logistics and infantry expert, please. Man, in my opinion, those are just absolutely mandatory. William Slim, no. Miles Dempsey, no, not again. Oh, infantry expert, yes, sir. George Gifford, yes, sir. Now we have no more command power for forced attacks, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, okay, so I'll send four more divisions this way. It really looks like the Germans aren't doing very well at all now. Oh, and Berlin has been encircled. Baby, that is awesome. We'll attack them from an area where they don't expect. Over the river now, finally. Oh, wait. Oh, oh crap. I forgot about this. No, oh, well, kind of. Once that destroyer is done, I will make it into a better destroyer. And we've got to keep an eye out for June 1st. It's May 31st. Ah, British forces have advanced into Berlin, and the war cabinet has announced the successful capture of the German capital after a pitched battle. Striking at dawn? I don't know if it was dawn or not. British commandos seized the Tempelhof Airport, while armored columns advanced along the Frankfurter Allee. Uh, with the Reich Chancellery under British control, fighting in the city has largely ended. The current status of the German government remains unclear, but it is believed that at least some elements of it have escaped the city before its fall. Interesting. Well, apparently he's probably still alive. Wow, look at that manpower. The Soviets are... Uh, they have reached Bulgaria. Wow. Just wow. Actually... And they are now 42% of the way towards capitulation. That's pretty great. When you can capture an enemy's capital. That that always feels pretty good. Now, don't it? And, you know what? Before you scream at me, I did realize that this could be upgraded or we can use the next level of destroyers. Which, I don't think we have anything else here. Sonar, still level 2. Still pretty good light engines. Yep, pretty good. Destroyer, obviously level 4 destroyers or 1944 destroyers would be best, but... All in due time, my friends. Great. Actually. What the hell are they doing? They're trying to... I think they're trying to maybe extend out my line. Maybe it's not on purpose, but they are definitely trying to extend my line as much as possible. Which they are doing fairly well. Now, if we're going to push. It would have to be a blanket sweep down. Because as we expand, or expand to the west or the east, our line will just get thinner and thinner. Which we do not want. Hmm. What we could do, we could expand west, because then we take out all of German-held France. And then we would have a border with the Spanish, who probably will backstab us eventually. Or declare war on us. Hmm. Because trying to link up with the Soviets right now would just be a little too far for us. So that's probably our next push. We will push west. Mm oh my goodness. They're doing it again. They're trying to bait me into attacking, and I'm going to take the bait. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, take half of you. Come down here. The other half come down here. You guys come here. Köln? Oh, Köln is an open city. Hello there, Köln. Hello there, General Kenobi. All right. Tanks, all five of you, we are expanding west. We will liberate Paris and the French people under our administration. It's very cool. And the last of the coffee, too. Hmm. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Gotta have some water. Clean out your mouth. Uh. Uh. Go ahead and come down here. Yeah. Well, the loss of the German capital, the German army. Honestly, if you lose your capital, you should be pretty severely demoralized, I would say. Like, oh my gosh, oh, now Vienna's the capital. Which is a pretty good place to put it next, but I would say that could be like a modifier. Like, oh, we lost the, our own capital. This isn't good. Alright, can I give a very slight push? That would be delightful if we can win most of these battles. 
I would love it. You would love it. The British people, the English, the Scottish, the Welsh, the Cornish, the Irish-ish people would love it. Ah, yes. Well, after the capture of Berlin, we're winning in Paris, but not in mainland Germany. Well, mainland Germany, what the heck. Germany proper. And Paris is ours. All right, well, all you had to do was capture Berlin, and the Germans are like, crap. <laughs> And we sunk an Italian sub, we sunk another Italian sub, and guess what? We got double Italian sub sunk right then. Do we need anything? Close air support tactical bombers? Close air support tactical bombers are doing okay. Um, naval bombers? Only if we need to go to war with the USA. Uh, we will need some more of this, though. Uh, yeah, just make me a bunch of guns, I guess. I mean, there's really nothing else I can do with my planes. We're out of aluminum. We're out of rubber. I don't want to cause too much of a panic when I can't make anything that I really need or enough of what I need. Uh, yeah, this is going surprisingly too well. I mean, the Soviets must be taking... just have taken a massive hit to the head. Let's see. The German Reichs have lost 4 million soldiers. 4.3 million in total against a comet who's lost over 7 million. Oh, what the heck? Shanxi joined the Meet Moors and because... Communist China decided to say, no, no. Well, honestly, that's really not too bad for uh, them. It's probably not too bad. Actually. Oh, oh, okay, so Communist China is like, screw this, we're not going to be communists by ourselves. We're just going to join the regular China's faction. And then the other Chinese people join the Japanese that want to completely destroy the Chinese. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Casualties for us, pretty good, pretty good. All we have to do, guys, is just make sure that the Germans are deep into Soviet territory first, and before the Soviets collapse, like, when the Soviets are, like, I would say 40% of the way towards capitulation, then invade, maybe. But be sure to take out Denmark or the Netherlands, because that's always a good landing spot. Oh, wow. Actually, they're not that close to capitulation at all. Only 11% of the way there. Huh. Oh, more naval dockyards. Oh, sweet, guys. I love it. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to make some more heavy ships. Heavy ships, regardless of year, are always a great thing to have. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Yeah, I don't want to make those. Carriers are great, though. I have to have heavy ships. I just need more and more heavy ships, but god dang it. Ugh. Just go ahead. Where am I putting the other ones? Auto? Oh, I don't want to put them in auto. East Anglica? No. Greater London area. Greater London area. That would probably be best. Yeah. Ooh. Don't do auto. Don't ever do auto. Uh, what do we have here, actually? We've got a lot of subs. And we have quite a few um, screens. You guys are... You're just docked here. Okay, that's that's enough. That's, that's cool, since we do have some of this. Ooh, what happened here? Oh, no. So, we lost a plane in exchange for a German destroyer. Not bad. Pretty fair trade, I'd say. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, actually, these subs. Where are some extra subs? Oh, these are some... You know what? We've got space for you guys to repair now. Or upgrade for a massive amount of torpedo attack. We got... It only takes six days. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Four more subs. Go ahead and... Actually... Come up here. Combine. I'll select you all... And since you can do this, you probably get better torpedoes and more speed, but you use more fuel and less sub visibility and more max speed. Yeah, awesome. Just do that. That's fine with me. Look at all these things we got to repair now. Um, that's totally fine with me. Put you at the bottom to collect all of the spare naval dockyards that eventually get used up. Actually, yeah, you're all set up like that. That's good. That's very very good. Uh, we are still pushing in. We are surprisingly just destroying them in France. Well, I guess not destroying them, since they're not even there in France. But Germany, you're not looking so good right now. Yeah, let the tanks just kind of go ham. Where are the tanks even? Oh, they're down here. Dijon? Oh, yeah, we can't even get to Switzerland because, well, they don't exist. Uh, I guess your goal is, like, down here near Italy. You know what? Go ahead. You, you already stopped. Stop everything right now. Reorganize yourselves, because I will quickly tell you to do this and go right ahead, since they're not really doing very much around here in France. 
Which is fine with us. Totally, totally fine with us. Awesome. And and the Soviets are just making a comeback. Leningrad is more than fine. It was really close to being taken. Well, not really close, but pretty close. Romania is falling to the Soviets. It's 1942. And I'm just going to keep adding on more and more artillery attack. And our attacks are not doing so well anymore. Okay, then. The German AI has officially found its way back home. And it's time for us to reorganize our front line, which is probably, in my opinion, a little bit too stretched out at this point. But, you know, it's just my opinion. And, unlike some people, I'm going to give my opinion, depending on the day. And how I feel, of course. Alright, very cool. Go ahead and reorganize yourselves. We will lose probably a chunk of France. I don't want to do this. Come over here to Dunkirk. I'm going to add them to become a seventh army. It's not a fully fleshed out army yet, but that's what we're going to do. Oh, look, the tanks. They just magically appeared here. Thanks, tanks. Thanks. Can you actually win over here? Ah, Edward von Kleist. What are you doing, Edvard? Oh, no, they're suffering attrition. That's not good. Ah, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, are we losing? Oh, no, no. no. They just they made, it, made it over here. Ooh, that was close. Very cool. Ah, backhand blow. Defender, and one more. One more research doctrine. Very cool. Awesome, and I want to take this, er, one of these, actually, Lava Rochelle would be best to take. Ah, advanced competing machine, very cool. Uh, decryption sounds like a good thing to do. Oh, we are not doing well down here. Alright, so our guys got down here, that's good. Go ahead, come down to France. Uh, I don't know where they're actually going to be placed, but that's okay. Let the tanks do their thing, come down here, take though that division out, and we have officially cut off Western France from the rest of, Ge of the German front. Which actually, I'm glad I put my 13 divisions here because they can fully flush these guys out. As our tanks will do the same thing. Brittany, Brittany, the Bretons, will be independent once more. And actually, ooh, ooh that was close. I almost left that line completely undefended. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, boys. Battleship focus is done and complete, and expand the repair yards, and get us two more naval dockyards. Go and get to Cherbourg. That'd be great. Awesome. The tanks are going ham, which they obviously should be. Push in, push in. I really don't want to extend myself too far, since we are maybe not doing so well over somewhere here. Maybe not. I don't know. We've conquered a lot of land in this... A relatively short amount of time, which is great. Oh, we lost two planes. That's not good, but whatever. I want to try to end with the expulsion of Germans in this area of France. That is my ultimate goal in this episode. I didn't start with that goal, but it is our goal this time. I'll go ahead and start attacking La Rochelle. Uh, you might as well help attack as well. Very... Impressive, guys. Very, very impressive. Awesome. Now, I will definitely need more Coast Guards to defend these areas, because these are very susceptible to attacks. Um, Within here, we might get attacked within the Baltic Sea. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but I'll take this off, since it does cost us some, and I need some immediate uh, divisions over here. Yeah. Awesome, which we now have all of Bretony. And let's see, put you over here, Coast Guards. Well, not exactly. Extend the line a little bit, like that. Tanks, you will drive a wedge over here, cut off the rest of the Germans, like what we just did with in Brittany. And D Day was a success. Doomsday, Devastation Day, Delinquence Day. Very good, very good. And that is where we're going to end it here today, guys. I think we've done it actually very, very well. Holy crap. But with that in mind, please leave a like if you liked the video. We have definitely, definitely, definitely taken out a good portion of Western Europe. Um, the Soviets are making a comeback. The Chinese are more unified and more divided than ever. And Italy is pummel pummeling our African allies. With that in mind, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow.